Hello everyone, welcome to Spirit Field Sunday. So today I will be doing guidance messages. The messages that I put forth, they are timeless. So whenever you happen to click on this video, that is when this message or these messages could be meant for you. Remember that they will not resonate with everyone. I just ask that you take what does resonate, apply it and leave the rest. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to pull an overall message. So Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Okay. I have protection. So let's see one more. And I have fulfillment, okay. I feel like with this protection, spirit says like your growth is being protected. And I heard enemies in the camp. For some of you, you may have people in your life who um, don't support you, who um, really try to devalue you. They don't believe in you. Don't believe in what it is that you're pursuing, what it is that you're trying to do with your life. And it's like spirit is saying like you're protected from this negative energy. I heard on the job. For some of you, you're being protected from people on your job. People who um, may gossip about you, may try to plot against you at work. Spirit is saying like you're protected. Your growth is protected. It's like you're going to be able prevail, to prevail against all the negativity. Like they're going to see you be happy. They're going to see you be successful despite what they say. So it's like, yes, the naysayers, they will be proved wrong. Fulfillment. Yes, growth. Your growth is protected. You are going to get where you want to be. You're going to get the fulfillment. You're going to get the happy ending that you want for yourself, that you want for your life. Yes, you are going to be able to prevail against all odds. So let's get some more messages. I have broken heart in the reverse. I have financial constraints. I have seven chakra archangel Uriel in the reverse. And I have door to spirit in the reverse. I feel like for some of you, spirit is call, calling you to believe, to believe in yourself, to believe in your abilities. I feel like the people in your life, her surroundings, yes, the people who you are surrounded by, whether it's family, friends, people on your job, um, they really make you question yourself sometimes. And it's like spirit wants you to believe, to have that belief in yourself, that faith that you are going to get to where you want to be, where you need to be in life. I feel like with this seventh chakra Archangel Uriel in the reverse, these people around you are very low vibrational and they just can't see where you're going because they themselves are not in a place where they can receive so therefore they're not going to want you to receive anything good because they don't feel that for them their life isn't good or they can't see beyond what they're going through or they can't see beyond their circumstances so they want you to remain stuck just like them I feel like with this broken heart and the reverse protection, yes, this relationship, um, whether it's romantic, whether it's a friendship, it's like it didn't work out. Like you severed ties with this person because spirit was protecting you. It may have been difficult. It may have been challenging, 
but you were being protected. Because like I said, low vibrational. This person or these people were very low vibrational. And they were going to stop your growth. They were trying to stop you from getting to the next level, the, the next chapter in your life. Because of jealousy, because of envy. So it's like people, a spirit had to remove these people out of your life, out of your energy, financial constraints. I feel like because of who you were connected to, your finances suffer because of the energy that you ha that you had around you. But spirit says improvement by you disconnecting, by you severing those ties. You are going to start to see an improvement in your finances. You're going to start to see an improvement overall in your life because you have released the toxic energy, and now you are making room for more positive energy to come in. So let's pull some tarot. Spirit, give me a message for a broken heart in the reverse. I have the Queen of Cups. Yes. This was very difficult for you. This was very challenging because you really had deep emotions for this person. Or for these people, because for some of you, I do feel like this is friendships. But you had a very strong emotional tie. And you're a very genuine person. But the people who you had in your energy, they were not genuine. They did not care about you the way that you cared about them. And it's like for those of you who this was a relationship, it's like, no, this person did not match your energy. This person did not feel the same way. And by this relationship not working out this was a protection for you because had you remained with this person you would have remained stuck you would have remained stagnant so spirit had to remove this person out of your life so that you will be able to move forward yes i heard hindrance this person was a hindrance to you and i feel like you are healing or for some of you, you have already healed past this disappointment. But I heard questioning. Some of you may have still been questioning why it didn't work out. And looking back to see if you could have done anything differently. And Spirit is saying, no. This happened for a reason. This happened for your protection. So let's get a message for financial constraints. Queen of Machetes, Queen of Swords. Yes, financial constraints. I heard like it's all coming together. I feel like you're in a season where you're planning. I feel like you're learning how to be a better steward over your finances. Queen of Swords is like you are fully in knowledge of what you need to do in order to have the abundance that you want for your life in order to have the financial security that you want. It's like, yes, you may be in a situation where you are struggling, but it's like, I, I heard coming out of that spirit. It's like, you're coming out of that because of the clarity that you have received. And because you're knowing how to create new opportunities for yourself. I heard business for some of you, you're thinking about starting your own business, or you may have recently started your own business. I heard clothing, so maybe some of you are thinking about her online. So maybe you're thinking about um, starting an online clothing business or maybe you have recently started an online clothing business. But it's like whatever it is that you're doing, it's like your focus is to improve your financial situation. Your focus is to be a better steward over your money. Yes. Learning how to plan ahead. Learning how to save, how to invest. That is where your intentions are right now and you are going to see an improvement because you are putting in the work 
and you are learning how to make wise decisions. So yes, protection. Yes, you are protected. Your finances are protected. Despite what you're going through right now, you are being protected. And spirit is leading you. Spirit is guiding you. I heard ideas. Yes, these ideas that you are getting, that are being planted, these seeds that are being sown within your thoughts, your mind, within your heart, that is from spirit. Yes, spirit is leading you and guiding you in the direction that you need to take. So let's get a message for the seventh chakra of Angel Uriel in the reverse. And again, I heard like online clothing, like someone is thinking about starting an online clothing business. And I heard success. It is going to be a success. It is going to be a success. It is going to give you um, the prosperity that you want. And I heard dark situation. Yeah, it's going to help bring you out of a dark situation, out of a very difficult time in your life. And I heard unexpected. Yes, unexpected blessings. So, yes, some of you definitely this growth uh, when it comes to this new business is going to be very, very unexpected for you. But it's going to be very much needed and appreciated because I feel like Yes, you're starting something new, but you're not going to be expecting it to be as successful as it's going to become. And again, unexpected blessing for some of you. There's going to be a blessing. I heard this week that is going to be taking place this week um, that is going to help your finances. I heard a job. For some of you, you may um, be getting a job this week or... I heard starting, maybe even starting a new job this week. So, yes, your financial situation is going to turn around. Yeah, I heard gainful employment. So, yes, someone is definitely starting a job this week. I have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry. I have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Fulfillment. I feel like whoever it was that you were attached to was jealous of you, jealous of your success. And they did not work with you. They worked against you. That is why you were unable to fully reach fulfillment with this person because this person was working against you. They were jealous of you, envious. So it's like spirit, and I just go back to the broken heart in the reverse. Spirit allowed this person to detach from you because you were never going to be able to reach the level of fulfillment that you wanted as long as you were connected to this person. Yeah. I heard like, yeah, by yourself alone, like this journey, this path, you are meant to go on by yourself alone so that you can have what you want, so that you don't have anyone trying to block you, trying to stop you. Yeah, because this person was very low vibrational. And some of you are her friends again. These friends were very low vibrational. And it's her envy. Yes, they were envious of you. It's like every time you would tell them something good that's happening in your life, like you would just see it. You could just see it like on their face that even though their words, you know, were saying something different, like they was congratulating you, like their face told the whole story. And like whenever you would go through something, I heard smirk. So it's like they would smirk. They would be happy whenever you would face difficulties and challenges in your life. So yes, fulfillment, it's like you had to remove the blockages in order to reach your fulfillment. Let's get a message for Door to Spirit. For some of you, Spirit says perception. Your fulfillment, your happiness is all about your perception, the way that you see things. So if you see the glasses being half empty, then it's like you're going to feel that you never have enough. 
But if you see the glass as being half full, then you're going to feel like, you know what, I do have enough and I only have, you know, a little bit more to go before I get to where I want to be. It's all about perception. And I heard like giving up, like some of you may feel like giving up, but you don't realize that you're almost there. You just have to change your perspective. You just have to change your point of view, the way that you're viewing the situation. And that is going to help motivate you to continue moving forward. Yeah, I just heard smirk. Like, for some of you, you had some very toxic friends around you. Like, they really were not happy for you. Whenever you would go through something, they would be very happy. Like, they would smirk. Like, they would get a little smile on their face because they like to see you hurt. They like to see you struggle. They really did not want to see you have success. And I heard remove. Yeah, the spirit had to remove these people out of your life. Like, you may not understand right now, or you may have not understood in that moment, but... I feel like as time goes by, everything will make sense and you will be able to finally see these people for who they are. Spirit says sheep in wolves clothing. Yes. I'm sorry. I meant to say wolves in sheep clothing. Yes, they are wolves in sheep clothing. Like they try to pretend that there's something that when that they're really not. They're not really genuine people. And so I heard mask. Yes, everything is going to be revealed. Like for those of you who are still connected to these people, they are about to be revealed to you. The mask is getting ready to come off. You're getting ready to see these people or this person for who they truly are. Yes. And you're going to realize that, you know what? You don't need them in your life. And this is happening because of spirit protecting you. From any further disappointment, protecting you from just their evil and toxic energy. I feel like these people are very toxic. And they really don't mean you any good. I said harm. I heard harm. Yes, they only want to harm you. For some of you, it could be physical. They could be plotting something. For others of you, this could just be emotional harm. Them wanting to, you know, cause you stress, grief, anguish. It's like whoever this person is, or her connection, for some of you, this is a relationship. This person doesn't want what's best for you. And physical harm. Yes, I go back to physical harm. For some of you, this person is physically abusive and emotionally abusive. So it's like you can't get to the next phase of your life. No, you cannot have success because this person is bringing you down. It's really trying to lower your self-worth, you know, lower how you feel about yourself, you know, make you feel like, you know, no, you can't reach that goal. No, you can't attain that because you're not capable. And all along, it's not you, it's this person. They feel like they're not capable, but they're projecting how they feel about themselves onto you. So yes, getting rid of all this negative energy is the key. God is protecting your growth. Yeah, because I can just see like the physical violence. So, yeah, Spirit is saying if you are in an abusive relationship that you need to get out. Again, I have the Three of Swords. Yeah, this person is very low vibrational. Um, They're very toxic. This is a very toxic energy. Um, for some of you, third-party situation, this person may be involved with other people but it's like door to spirit in the reverse there is no moving forward with this person this person is not meant to go on this journey with you because they're not in the right energy yeah and if you are in an abusive relationship definitely you know you need to remove yourself from that situation yeah because this person they're only going to hold you down they're only going to break your spirit and you're never going to get where spirit wants you to be in life because this person is there. 
this person is in your energy. Yeah, you're never going to get to what spirit has for you. And I feel like there's been moments where you could leave. Um, but it's like, it's something that always holds you there. I heard children for some of you as children. But it's like spirit is giving you an out or it's going to be giving you another out. And you need to take it. Because spirit is trying to protect you, protect you from this person. Because I feel like if you continue to remain in this relationship, like it isn't going to turn out good. Yes. I heard an unhappy ending. Yes, you're going to experience an unhappy ending. If you continue to stay with this person. But yes, this person is very low vibrational. And spirit is definitely coming in to save the day. But you just have to step back and let spirit. Let spirit do the work. Let spirit guide you. Be open to taking direction. Be open to making movement. Be open to taking action in this situation. Whether it's friends, whether it's a romantic connection, for some of you family, it's like you have to be willing. Spirit is not going to force you. Because your fulfillment is waiting. Your happiness is waiting. And you have to love yourself more than anyone else could ever love you. It's like no one is going to love you the way that you love yourself. No one is going to give to you the way that you give to yourself. So you just always have to be self-focused when it comes to situations in your life, when it comes to relationships. And you always have to have that in the back of your mind that, you know what, no one's going to love me the way I love me. So I have to make sure that I take care of self. I have to make sure that whatever situation I'm involved in is for my highest good. You always have to put self first. So let's get one more message. Yeah, but I, I just get a sense of a very negative and toxic energy that is surrounding you. And you need to let go. You need to release this person or these people. For some of you. Self-sufficiency. It says the ultimate self-sufficiency is relying on God. It doesn't mean hiding in a cave and saying, I don't need people. Instead, it's saying God is my source and I'm willing to receive all the help, love, and support that wants to come. Yes, self-sufficiency, like I said, you know, taking a step back and letting God guide you. Realizing that, you know, God is fully in control. All you have to do is be open to his guidance. Yes, self-sufficiency. Being able to rely on God and trusting, trusting his purpose, trusting his will for your life, even when you don't understand it, even when you don't understand why you're losing people in your life, why your relationships are ending. It's like still trusting the process and knowing that you are being protected and everything is working out for your highest good. Challenges. It says, unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you are open. Please take over divine and guide the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. Yes. Releasing the burden, asking God to carry your burden. Yes. My yoke is easy and my burden is light, the, spirit, the scripture says. Yes. Unbearable situations, difficulties, challenges is where we learn how to depend on God the most. So yes, use the situation to strengthen your relationship with God, with spirit, and know that you are being protected. Your growth, your fulfillment, your happiness, your peace is being protected. So I hope that these messages resonated and everyone remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.